How in the world of Transylvania did we get our hands on vampire veins? I have no idea, but I do know the science behind them. And here's what you're gonna need. Water, vampire vein goo, a clear container or bowl, measuring cup, black light, empty four ounce bottle, teaspoon measure, worm activator, and a spoon. First, take your container and measure out one cup of warm water. Next, add one teaspoon of worm activator, making sure all the worm activator is dissolved before moving on. To make the experiment more manageable, transfer some of the vampire vein goo into your empty four ounce squirt bottle. Now, take the smaller bottle of vampire vein goo and squirt a small stream into the worm activator solution. Reach into the bowl to pull out your very own vampire veins. The vampire vein goo changes immediately from a liquid to a solid the moment it touches the worm activator solution. So what's happening here is the calcium from the worm activator solution links those long polymer chains from the vein goo together. Scientists call it cross-linking. That's cool. Do you see this color change that's taking place from green to red? That's actually because of a special dye these veins contain. At most angles, the veins absorb all light frequencies except for green, which is bouncing off the veins and why our eyes see it as green. But the special dye absorbs all the light passing directly through it, except for red. This means that when the light comes in contact with vampire veins, it's actually doing two separate things at once. So creepy and awesome, all at the same time. But before you're done experimenting with these things, get them under a black light. Because of the fluorescent dye they contain, these veins glow and reveal secrets, even by the light of the moon.